no idea what's going on here, I have to be honest. And, uh, you know, we know there was some issues last season with Pogba and Mourinho being, you know, leaving him on the bench. As a guy who's just won the World Cup, he is the linchpin of this side. He is one of the best and most talented players uh, in world football. He has a price tag to go with that. He's got a stature to go with that. He has the ability to go with that. And I, I, just, I just don't know where this is going, but clearly... Clearly, there is something, there is something in his head that he is not happy with. Otherwise, you just wouldn't make statements like that. Not particularly after the first game of the season, when you've hardly had any rest, and you you come in and you're a dominant player and you score and your team win. It, it just sort of doesn't quite fit. Gab, what's going on? <sighs> well, <laughs> if only we knew. <laughs> um, but uh, look, I've what I can tell you this is, Paul Pogba is is one of the most intelligent footballers that, that I've ever had a chance to, 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 to speak to and spend time with. And uh, he knows exactly uh, what he's doing when he says things like this, and he's doing it uh, with a reason. This is not, these are not throwaway comments, and, and the fact that he followed it up uh, on Instagram, I think, make that pretty clear. Um, I think he's sending a message to who, to what. I think that's... That's open to speculation. Maybe we'll get more guidance because uh, country what a lot of people think, football clubs and agents employ people to speak to the media and steer, and, and steer them one way or another. Um, but it's obvious that, you know, uh, he went and he did this for a reason. Now, it's, I think it's way too easy, too reductive to go and just make this all about his relationship uh, with Mourinho. Um, I think there could well be something deeper there and, and we'll see who picks up the baton. If you're in charge of Manchester United, mm -hmm. you were Ed Woodward, mm -hmm. and you had to choose one or the other, who would you choose? Pogba or Mourinho? I would choose the top man. I, I would choose Paul Pogba because he's the, the heart and soul of that football team. Uh, what he did at the weekend was borderline remarkable. As Mourinho said, playing 80 minutes, scored the winner, brave enough to take it. Look, when you're the top man at the football club and you come out with a statement like that... Well, you just don't. You don't come out with a statement like that. If all's rose in the sure. garden, it's just... So the, the un undercurrent, the undertones here are far-reaching. And, uh, you know, it's very difficult to, to get inside of, of, of people's minds, but it's just shocking that he would come up with that stuff. Well, if, if, there is to, if there is going to be a, some sort of power struggle between... And, I, and we don't know, right? We just don't know. But it's, so com it's so confusing. But say there is. Years ago, or a few years ago, there's only one winner. Sir Alex, wouldn't it? Oh, no, no, sorry, I meant Mourinho. Oh, yeah. No matter what club he was at, yeah. maybe not Real Madrid at, at, yeah. at the end. But as a general term, as a gen generally speaking, most clubs he's been at, he has had kind of had the power because he's been top man and he's, yep. he's delivered. I, I'm, not, I'm not sure he's quite... Oh, well, I'm sure I don't think he's got that mm. anymore. I don't think he has that, the backing of boards that he once had. And I think he's made that more problematic for himself by his rhetoric. And and so I don't think it's a surefire thing that if there was if there was to be some struggle between player and manager that the manager would win to Paul's point because Pog was a big player and Mourinho doesn't carry himself like he once did. 